Yeah. Welcome back to Primetime Live, man. Dangerous Paradise in the building. Uh, we got a special guest in the building. building. Our first interview with an artist that he already came. He pulling up part two because I done added a new feature like Rap City in the Basement. Okay. 106 and Goddamn Dangerous. Okay, 106 and Dangerous. Hey, 106 and Dangerous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got Royal Dynasty back in here with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let her tell, talk her shit. You feel me? Do all that. You know, I'm just monologuing with her. You know what I'm you saying? You just monologuing with me. We, it's yeah. a tag team. We doing this. We doing this together. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, I'm trying to do like two or three more, and we good, man. Hey, that's what I said. Just let me know. Just let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Hey, but yeah. we got a live audience out here. Well, I'm saying. Like hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, man. Audience. 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 I'm going. Y'all going. Hell, I love it. I love it. 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 Love Man, my bad. Nah, he kept saying it though. Nah, he, he kept saying it though. I kept saying it. He kept saying it though. I, I, saying I, it though. Twin, I kept saying it, twin. I'll use my indoor voice. I didn't use the I didn't use the point guard verse yet. Verse yet. I didn't use my point guard voice. <laughs> Wait, so are we still are we still filming or are we starting? Yeah, we okay, 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 okay. Well, we can keep it going. Um, so y'all know what's going on here, man. We got our boy Q, man. Introduce yourself, man. Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy GQ Smooth, aka the Fly Hippie on the planet ever. If you don't believe me, just check the Instagram. New album out right now. Just came to kick it with my boy, man. What's good? Hey. Round two, man. Y'all here looking like Machiavelli the Dunn. Hey, there, when bitch. I say he got the most chains on ever in life, I hate to see what it look like when he go through the security. Um, <laughs> I ain't lie. You got, sir, you got to take all that jewelry off. <laughs> But my boy got about 20 chains on. <laughs> I know that nigga heavy. Do you get frustrated when you put all them on? No, so I, just, I get frustrated with two. No, I'll be, I, I just be like, hey, <laughs> man. But that's your style. That's your look, though. And it for goes sure. for, like, you as an artist. What you said, the fly is hippie on the planet. Always. Yeah, I Always. love it. Always. Yo, yo, man, so sure. like, man, Q, you know, I just seen you fresh out of the fashion show, man. Tell us about that real fast. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Um, Shouts out to the Queens, Jamise and Brittany, man. They had me from um, Commander and Chic. Yes. They reached out to me. I've been rocking with them for basically my whole modeling career. Yeah. And um, they were like, yeah, we having a nice little virtual fashion show. We need you to come and rock a couple looks for me. And I said, when and what? And I was done. So we just wrapped that up real quick. And that was a nice all-day process from 8 to about 5. So, you know, it was all good. But I had Fun though, I enjoyed it. It was real cool. So okay. shouts out to them. You That's want some right. drip? Holla at Commander and Sheik. It's GQ approved. They had a That's right. Yeah. I had a, like, a massage looking shirt. I was like, all right, motherfucker. I be out here like a Tupac getting off the airplane again. Hey, look, I ain't gonna flip, man. They Didn't had seem me. Like that hey, look, though, they had me in that little red thing. I was feeling like Prince Hakeem. My man had to double back and go Prince buy Hakeem. that bit, put the ticket on it. Hey, no, but like, <laughs> to, when, you look, when you look at. Commander and Chic and where they came from and where they are now. That's one thing I love to see about a lot of our black entrepreneurs yes. out here and their businesses. Yes. Amen. Just seeing them from yes. the, going, coming from ground to where they are now, just like with Global Soul. I remember when they first started and now they oh, have yeah. a storefront. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me like so you already you know, know the family. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. that's that's what's up. And to see everybody evolve, even with the modeling. So I know we're gonna get into you, oh, yeah, you as far as in with your your music which we're playing in the background right now so you know what I'm saying is a vibe I just want to say that so <laughs> <laughs> so um just tell us a little bit about as far as in you with modeling I guess we can get into that uh, right, right quick yeah. before we get into the music so yeah, how long right, have you been right, modeling right. I've been modeling for a solid three years solid okay. three years um started three years ago and really, it's so funny how I got into modeling because before I started officially being a model, people always told me, smooth, you need to be a model, bro. You're too fly, you get too fresh, just to go to the grocery store and not yeah. be a model, bro, you need to be a model. Yeah. Women told me all the time, I'm talking about beautiful women, smooth, you need to be a model, you got the look, you tall, handsome eyes. Yeah. And I was just like, all right, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I'm on my rap <laughs> shit right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm a rapper, you know what I'm tell saying. Him about, tell them about what you did at the terminal station, what you did when you walked out there. <laughs> you know, I gotta so get you, funny. I gotta get you again. I wanna hear about man, the terminal look, station. All right, man, I walked out on the on terminal station in a fashion show I did last year. Had on me a nice little black velvet button down, and I just, you know, I tore that thing Bring open. That thing and, open. And, man, know, shit, he ain't doing it. Ladies like what they were saying, man. You so know. what you had got some wop panties. 
Huh? Song, you had some pain song. A little song like that, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. He didn't, he didn't give it all. They, they, he didn't give it all to they give it a, Dynasty. They, they, he didn't give it all to The presence was definitely When he felt. walked out there, when he first off, when he walked out there, he was swagging, of course, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing. But when he started popping, that bitch said, it's just said, pop, 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 pop. And everything in the crowd was, oh! I was like, oh man! What the fuck? Who are they like? Oh! He know it! Man, this been on the episode before. I had to oh, tell yeah. about that shit, man. Like, bro. And then, you know what I'm saying? When I first met them, man, shout out to Plant Say. She in the building. Like, Plant Say had them a red carpet affair, right? And so I pull up, man, you know, you know, I think I'm Tupac, man. Bound down on goddamn Versace shirt, dri dripping and all kinds of shit. I see these niggas, these niggas fresh and fuck. And I was like, they were like, who you think you are? I'm Mac Ability to Dunn. Nigga, they're like, fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? These niggas fresh as fuck now. And he was saying that shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, these niggas fresh as I'm talking about these niggas fresh as hell. I mean, these guys are fresh. And like, the whole team fresh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They telling me, they telling me about this and stuff. We ain't, we ain't got them, um, uh, out ambitious graphics, wilding the hell out, having a good time, drunk as, as usual. It's you always. know what I'm saying? Everybody in there looked like a goddamn like a uh like a cult meeting or something out there. Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like a cult meeting. So like man, Q, like, you know, tell us the name of the project again, man, cause I mean, get that out there for me. Oh yeah, so you already know, man, the album Smooth is is out on all streaming platforms, and I do mean all streaming platforms. Type in GQ Smooth. Please don't forget the dollar sign because we all about the money. You did. Hey. So <laughs> I know one of your producers, his name is Astronaut. Oh yeah, that's family. Astronaut, that's oh my, my family. That's yeah, we grew up together. That's he, family. He makes like dope EDM music. You feel? Yeah. Me? Oh yeah, bro, bro. See, that's what I love about bro. He, he got a different like type of ear mm -hmm. when it comes to music, and he like he's like one of those like my homies that's on like that like deep anime type shit. Mm -hmm. So like that's where his influence comes from, and I love anime too. So it's just like you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, it, it, it makes so, sense. Let's get us into that as far as in what genre because a lot of people may not know what anime genre is so you want to kind of yeah. go into detail with I that mean, you know just you know what i'm saying like he deeper than me but i know like you know dragon ball z one mm -hmm. piece the Yu Gi Oh's when I was younger, you know, yeah. I ain't watched a lot of anime recently. I ain't gonna flex on you, bitch. You know, I'm still a word of culture, you know. How I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. You got it. So you said the One Piece to Dragon Ball. I'm saying Dragon Ball Z to go. Dragon Ball Z to go. Dragon Ball Z to go. Afro Samurai. Don't forget Afro, Afro Samurai. Samurai. <laughs> that, that's the Dragon number. Ball Super right now because them folks that switch the swag up, they got some whole thing going on. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan. They got all. Like man, the thing oh, it's like a whole, it's a whole, whole, it's a whole world. world. Yeah. It's but see, world, but see, man. what they do is they they speak on progression. Yeah. They'll start it from eighteen years old and they'll grow up till they about eighteen, mm. and you'll see their progression. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's how I feel about life. Progression. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's about progression, man. So man, like I don't know, like man, if you had to perform a song, what song would you perform for us? Self motivation, top shelf. Oh, you got a whole you know, list on. Right. He's like, I'm doing them. everything. It's a couple of them, man. It's whatever. So, I mean, how long you been rapping? Because I know you said you've been modeling for three years. So, mm -hmm. how long you been doing the I've music? I've been rapping for over 10 years. Like, oh. I started rapping. In, okay. You, you, you in the mix. High school. Like, high school, for real. High school, I was rapping. Man, I, feel, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Freshman I feel like year, I could be a rapper. Freshman year in high school, I just already knew. I'm rapping, bro. That's it. That and right. I, and it's been ever since. So, all you've been doing is really sharpening your knife. Always. I like it. Always. Got Gotta to, keep man. it sharp. Yeah, right. Man, I appreciate you just pulling up on the guy. Appreciate you man. having me, fam. Oh, man, you know. It was last minute, you know, you dropped on me. I'm like, all right, I got to And look, get though, it. It, a lot of stuff be coming up like that, but I'm always ready to work, so it's okay. always cool. Hey, they would say you got to be ready, so you never got to get I stay ready, so I ain't got to, you know right. what I'm saying? You so, Q, know. what's next, bro? Like, you feel me? You done dropped the album. You performing out here. You, I know you performing in the A. You oh, yeah. told me about that minute. So, bro, I got to go to the city. Yeah, yeah, um, you already know, man, trying to break out. But, um... What I got right next, man, just really just promoting the album. Mm -hmm. I got music videos about to be shot real soon, and I mean like this month soon. Mm -hmm. So you can be looking for visuals coming out soon. You know, I'm president of the label on average, so we got more artists that's about to get ready to drop soon. Another artist, Jimmy Stacks, he working on his album. We mm -hmm. about to get that push in right there. So trust me, if y'all think I'm applying pressure when y'all see what we got on our roster, I promise you. Y'all gonna understand why we call ourselves on average entertainment. You They're right. All oh. gas, no breaks. You see what I'm saying? All gas, no breaks. So I right smoke quick, gas, though. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say right quick for the people again, um, mm -hmm. just shout out the name of your album that you just released and again, where they can follow it. Follow oh, yeah, it. yeah. So you already know the name of the album is Smooth Was Here. 
Again, that's smooth. What's here? Because I'm here and I'm not going nowhere. That's you right. can follow like me that. everywhere at G Q S M O O V E underscore M O T. Again, that's G Q S M under. Ah, hold on. G Q S M O O V E underscore M O T on all platforms. You already know, man. The album out there right now. Hit the link in my Instagram. Take you to all streaming platforms. Number one song on the album right now is between Show and Prove, Top Shelf, and Black Barbie Ballerina. Featuring my Matt Time homeboy, Blue Montana. You know, I had oh, to show yeah. love to okay, the city. Blue, okay, Blue. Okay, Blue. I had to show love to my city. Okay, Blue. I mean, maybe you want to drop a hot 16 or a hot bar for her, you can. I mean, drop a beat, bro. It's whatever. No shit. Now you want to <laughs> acapella? Y'all know bit? me, man. I'll go acapella. It's I'll whatever. stop this whole thing for your ass, right? All right, yeah, man. Yeah, it's whatever, thing. bro. Man. Just let me know when to go. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Cut loose, man. Cut loose. Whatever All you right. want to cut loose. My homie told me to cut loose, and I ain't even got a spit a hook. His name GQ Smooth, and I've been a crook. The smoothest criminal that ever came up out the city. It's mad time, my niggas. You know they fucking with it. I coming up in Sneaker Twin Snow. I got to come and give me a couple of sneakers. Let me see the new Dangerous Paradise. You know I got to rock that. Hot tops with high socks. Yeah, I like that. Hey. Kelly Swag, but I came from the down south. Mad time, 478. I spit it out my mouth every time I rap. These other people trying to get the clout, but not trying to get the fame. I'm trying to get the knowledge. I ain't really worried about fame. I'm trying to get the dollars. And that's hey. it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Where's my bell in? Hey, where's my bell? So check this hey. out, man. I mean, you going to drop a little something? You going to grace a little? Yeah, I can, I can grace perform. Bless her with something, man. Real fast for you ride, quick. man. And you know what I'm saying? We going to come back, man. Prime time live, man. <laughs> yes, sir.